everyone, and welcome to the Crafty Mama podcast. My name is Dawn, and I am your host. This is episode 24, I think. I think it's 24. So welcome to the podcast. This is a knitting and crafty podcast, mostly knitting. And um, welcome to all new viewers. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for the returning viewers, thank you so much for coming by again and spending some more time with me. I'm really glad that you're enjoying the podcast. I've hit 120 subscribers, so that's exciting. And um, yeah, thank you so, so much for, for coming by and spending a little time with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead with this right quick off the bat. I think for the next two months, the podcast is probably going to be every two weeks. Um, I may pop in for a short little thing here and there um, when certain things are coming due or certain things are launching, um, stuff like that. But just November and December are absolutely crazy at work and I'm already starting to stress. So. I'm already <laughs> already starting to stress out a little bit. Today I have got so much to do and I'm not even halfway done doing what I gotta do and it is 10 after 6 and I've just started podcasting. I needed to get up a little earlier and get my butt in gear but I didn't. Instead I got up and browsing Instagram which is really bad which I shouldn't do that when I first get up because I know I will knock it out of bed for at least an hour at least an hour and this time was no exception because I got up and I was browsing Instagram and I see a notice that Melissa and Levi are doing a live chat on Instagram. Melissa from Honeybee Knits and Levi from WTF Knitting. So of course I have to watch because they're live and you just have to watch. Yeah, well, I watched them for almost an hour, and I'm like, okay, I've really got to get going. I have got so much to do today. I have yarn cooling, um, actually drying downstairs. I want to try and dye up another one or two of the Christmas, um, 12 Days of Christmas colorways. I am so behind on that, and it starts November 1st. I guess it doesn't really have to start November 1st, but I thought that'd probably be a perfect time for it to start. So I need to get get a little bit ahead of the game so I'm not like screaming that I've got like three days, you know, of colors to do and the day is coming up and I'm not done and I'm freaking out and mm, yeah. So that is the plan and I wanted to sew up some Christmas bags because I wanted to put those out on November 1st. So that might not be happening. The bags will go up probably the first weekend in November instead. I'll do the Christmas in um, 12 Days of Christmas starting November 1st. And then the bags will probably go up on the 3rd or 4th or 5th, somewhere in there. Anyways, I'll talk a little bit more about that fun stuff in a little bit of a shop update. But um, yeah, so I still have another yarn or two I want to dye tonight, and I'd like to do a little knitting. My foot is absolutely killing me. Working is just, it's killing me. I, I just, you know. So um, that's going on, and then Walking Dead is on tonight, so I got to watch that. And uh, I wanted to sew up some bags, so. We'll see. It's six o'clock. I got about seven hours ish before I want to try and head to bed. Got to watch another episode of Stranger Things with my daughter tonight because we only ended up watching one episode yesterday and she was all upset about it. But I told her I had to get up early, which I didn't end up getting up early. <laughs> I should never, ever, 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 ever make plans. Because nothing ever turns out the way I plan. Um, I am drinking David's tea. I am drinking the O Canada tea in my little sheepy mug. Um, the O Canada tea is a robust um, tea. 
and it is sweetened with maple syrup. You can taste the maple syrup. I kid you not. I kid you not. Um, I may have to try and buy like a little tin or something and send some of this to a couple people that might want to try it because it's only available in Canada, obviously. So I might have to do that because I bought like a hundred gram tin. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, come on, Canada tea, that's maple syrup. I have to get some. So I might have to see about getting some little tins or something and send them to a couple people as a little thank you for being a friend kind of deal, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's what I'm drinking, and it is really good. So I might be drinking a lot of it during the podcast. It's so good. All right. Where you can find me? Let's get on with some of that stuff. You can find me on Instagram as craftymama underscore 73 and candy coated yarn uh you can find me on a ravelry as crafty mama 73 and a ravelry group is crafty mama designs which oh my god we have 82 members in the group are you kidding me 82 members oh my gosh that is awesome uh, i have a facebook page and an etsy shop that are both crafty mama designs and all of those have a z at the end um so that's basically where you can find me. Now, Instagram, I've finally started doing some more Instagram stories, and I'm getting a little bit addicted. <laughs> it's a little bit addicting. Um, yeah, so I thought it would be good practice for me to do that because come December, I really want to try and do the, um, the vlogmas for December. Basically, you just take a little snippet video every day of what's going on in your life that day or whatever. So I think doing these little Instagram story feeds, probably, probably good idea. What I could do, I guess, maybe, is save your Instagram stories and then bring them into your computer or whatever and upload them into your video editor and kind of splice them together as a video. I think that might work. Instead of me having to hook, get everything all set up for podcasting and have everything looking whatever. So I think I might do something like that for my vlogmas. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Anyways, so that's where you can find me. Um, A little bit of administrative stuff. We do have a couple cows going on right now. We have the one skein cow which is knit anything that is one skein of yarn and you can enter to win. Um, I did put, I did uh, drawing for that earlier. So that one is not until the end of November. Um, there is a hashtag for that, which is CMDOSKAL. So if you are Instagram savvy and you enjoy Instagram, hashtag your finished objects and it enters you an extra drawing into the, uh, end of the year drawing. Cause this, uh, this knit along does go right till December 31st, um, as well as the socks all the time knit along. We've been having a lot of people posting in both of those threads lately, and I am so excited about that. I am so excited. I love seeing people um, posting and interacting, and yeah, I, I love it. Thank you so much for you guys that are getting in there and showing me your finished objects. It is... Um, it's inspiring. It makes me want to dig out my socks, but at the same time, I'm ready to pretty close to getting on the heel and I'm a little terrified of the heel. So that's why I haven't knit on them lately. I need to knit on them. I want to knit on them. I'm just afraid of the heel. So if anybody has any tips or suggestions, I am doing a magic loop toe up. So my first pair of socks, have been in a timeout for a couple months now because I'm afraid to get to the heel. Yeah. I told my daughter I'd have them done by Christmas, but I don't know if I'm going to get them done. So if you have a suggestion on the perfect heel to do for a toe-up sock that is easy for a beginner heel or sock knitter, please let me know. I would be ever so thankful. Um, yeah, so that's the socks all the time knit along. 
And we have chatter threads for both of those. So if you want to show your progress, share your pattern or your yarn, that is the place to drop that in there. And that's where I can chat with you guys about your stuff. Your stuff because I can't talk in the finished objects thread because that will mess up the count. So those are going on. Now we have one coming to a close in just a couple days. Seriously, like we have today, Monday, Tuesday, that's it. The winter is coming, make along, is almost over. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's been two months already. I've got one thing done. I got my hat done, that was it, that was it. At least I got something done. But yeah, holy crow, two months already. So you've got two and a half days to get your finished objects in there, to get your finished objects on Instagram with the hashtag winter is coming M-A-L for your chance to win some stuff as well. I do believe Levi is giving a prize for the Instagram one and I'm doing a prize for the Ravelry group. So make sure you're getting in both of those for your chance to win double time. So that's awesome. Um, basically anything that you make to keep yourself, yourself warm in the winter, that is what that make along is all about. It needs to be 75% um, of your yarn, I believe. Um, 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 no, minimum of 25 grams. That's right, because if you're doing like sock boot toppers and stuff like that, you're not going to use that much. So anyways, get your names in there. Get your finished objects in there. You've got two and a half days to do so because next time I podcast, which I think this time will be, next weekend because I'll have the winner for this. I will have a new winner for the socks all the time and I'll be showing off some of the yarn for my 12 days of Christmas which I'll talk about a little bit later. So those are some of the things going on in the, the Ravelry group right now. I do have a new knit along, well make along coming up starting November 1st and I am so excited about this. I am so excited. I am calling it Deck the Halls Make Along. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never done any of these little things to decorate your house, but that is exactly what this make along is about. It is sewing, knitting, crocheting, any kind of craft at all, felting. Um, needlework, um, cross stitching, um, plastic canvassing. We are going all crafts for this make along. It is called deck the halls make along hashtag deck the halls M A L. And basically anything that you can make to help decorate your home for the holidays. Boom. That's it. It's huge. November 1st to December 31st. I'm going to go all the way to, um, do I want to go all the way to the new year? Yeah, I think so. I think so because you can still be making fun stuff for New Year's and it's all just to decorate your house for the holidays. Yeah, I think we'll go right to the end of the year. I don't want to stop it in the middle of the month. <laughs> so deck the halls, make along. I'm so excited. And I will show you a couple things I'm thinking of making when I get to um, purchases and stuff like that. Um, so yes, anything that you can make to decorate your home for the holidays. It can be tree ornaments. It can be stockings. If you knit stockings for the mantle, it can be tree skirts. It can be um, pot holders that have a Christmas theme. It can be wall art. If you crochet, crochet or um, if you uh, cross stitch or um, plastic canvas, it can be things for your wall, um, anything at all that decorates your house for the holidays. So that is going to be a lot of fun and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. I've got so many things I want to make. I know I'm not going to get them all done because I am a slow knitter. I hate to say it, but I am a slow knitter and uh, working retail over the holidays. <sighs> I'm exhausted just thinking about it. This past week with Halloween, holy crap, let me tell you, Monday night, I worked Monday, like one to nine or whatever. 
it felt like December. It felt like December. It was so busy the whole day into the evening and see what happens with the with Dollar Tree, or at least the ones here in Canada. Um, once the five o'clock hits, it's time to start tidying the store. So you put away all the stock you were working on and all that stuff and you start tidying the store. Well, the cashier usually tidies the one half of the store and whatever manager is in will tidy the other half. Well, it was so busy, I had to pretty much clean the entire store myself. <laughs> oh my God, I was hustling my butt, let me tell you. If I don't lose another 20 pounds this Christmas, I don't know. I don't know. Because last Christmas, I lost 20 pounds in the month of uh, middle of November to the end of December. I had no idea. I thought I was losing some weight because I kind of felt my clothes feeling a little looser and stuff like that. I see why I lost 20 pounds because you hustle your butt. You may be down aisle 10 and our cash registers are at like aisle, or sorry, aisle one. Our cash registers are at like aisle seven, eight, nine. So if you're way down in the party section, which is aisle one and you're cleaning and you get a call for backup cash or anything else, you got to hustle all the way down to the other side of the store and you got to hurry because you know the customers are like, why is there a line up? I want to get out of here. I don't want to stay in line. It's Christmas time, people. <laughs> God, it drives me absolutely bonkers. Anyways, that little, yeah, I'm sure throughout now to Christmas, you'll probably hear me rant a little bit about uh, ignorant and mean and just customers that stress me out. <laughs> so I'm just giving you a fair warning ahead of time. Um, so anyways, the Christmas make along. I am so excited. Deck the halls make along. Hashtag it. I'm going to open up a thread um, in the next day or yeah, probably tonight, tomorrow, probably. And uh, get that going. I'm so excited. I've got so many things I want to make and I want to make them all. I just don't think I'm going to have time. I need to hire somebody to do my knitting for me. Because <laughs> i got so many things I want to make. Better yet, I'll hire somebody to go to work and do my work for me, and then I can stay home and knit. That sounds good to me. <laughs> that sounds like a better plan. It does. It does. I may have to come down with a cold or something this season so I can take an extra day off of work. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. There's only a, three of us managers, and if one of the managers call in sick, then the other two are stuck working, you know, the full day. Or Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but what are you going to do? Anyways, so we've got three make-along, three knit-alongs going on right now. One of them is ending in a couple days, and we have a new one starting November 1st. So that's what's going on in the, in the um, Rebel Read group right now. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. let's see what we got. I thought, well, I don't got any of those. Whips, I got a couple. So, the one I work on, on my way to work, um, on my lunches, on my way home, um, whenever I go out and about to, to do shopping, to do shopping or whatever, this is the one I take with me. This is the Move Into the Country Shawl by Christy of Yarn Cafe Creations and Girls in the Yarn Cafe on YouTube. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought I finished my row. Well, shoot. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay, well, um, it's not that far. Maybe I can knit it up real quick. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> like I said, I'm a slow knitter, and I don't want you guys just sitting here watching me knit for five minutes. So I'll show you what I got. I haven't done too, too much more. I've got some more done. So I am on, I'm starting the third section of the um, Plum Fancy colorway. I just got that last eyelet, so I'm starting another section of this. 
And that's going to be the third section for the second part of the shawl. And then I'll go back again and do another section of this color here, which is birthday cake. And the yarn is from Iris Yarns. I believe they're in the UK. So that is my new in to the country shawl. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. The colors are pretty. Alyssa picked this out, so I'm making this for her. <coughs> I'm making this for her. So, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I don't know what is going on. It's those damn weather, let me tell you. A week ago, we were sweating our butts off with like 22, 23 degrees, hot as hell. And well, not hot as hell, but it was quite warm. When you're working, it's warm. And uh, and now, I mean, overnight, we're hitting like three or four degrees. If it's any colder, it's going to snow, which somebody said we're supposed to be getting some snow. I don't want snow yet. Not yet. Anyways, that is being homed in my cute little Halloween bag, which is on sale right now in my Etsy shop for anybody who is interested. That's only going on for a couple more days as well. Um, that is going on until October 31st. Maybe I'll extend it until the end of the week. We'll see. But yes, my Etsy shop does have a sale on all Halloween items. So, um, so that's that. I am using a size six. Oh, now I got the hiccups. Lovely. Size six, which is a 4.0. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, size six, which is a 4.0. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So that's one of my whips. And the other one. I am loving it. It is the Three Color Cashmere Cowl by Hohi Locatelli. I am doing it in, oh, something got cut. I am doing it in my Tremendous Teal colorway. Color two is Nerves of Steel, and color three is Shipwreck. So, where my stitch marker is, is where I was last time I podcasted. I've done it. Look it, it's coming along. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Those eyelets. I'm getting on to, uh, almost on to the second row of eyelets in the gray. So it's not showing up true to color. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I gotta do. I gotta kind of show it upwards. Okay, that color right there, that's the teal. That's the teal. That's the, that's the, that's the color. Anyways, so you do one of these and then you do it in the gray and then you do it again in the teal and then you do it again in the gray. So you get four of these big stripy eyelet sections. So you do four of those and then I think it's like a two rows, two rows and then two rows, two rows, two rows, two rows, two rows, all the way up. I think it's like 18 or whatever. Um, rows of just a thin stripe which I think is going to look so awesome I am loving it I'm loving it I'm loving it loving it and then after that you get a big huge section and that's what I'm doing my shipwrecked which is this one here that is shipwrecked I love it it's one of my favorite ones that I've ever dyed so far so far that's one of my favorites. So <clears throat> then it comes a big section of that. And then I think there's something more of this maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember that far back. But these I am using a th size 3, which is a 3.25. And she calls for a 2.5. So I'm doing a 3 just because I want a little more. I'm so worried that it's not. It's going to fit over my head. That's not going to be the issue. It's going to get over my head. I just don't like really snug around my neck. So I'm a little worried. I can't stretch it all the way because it'll pop off the end. Because this is only a 32 inch cord. But I don't know. This should be okay. We'll see. But I'm really excited to, to knit on this some more. I, I try and knit at least a couple rows every day. 
I had to rip back once a little bit because I messed up somehow. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So I ripped it back a little bit, but uh, and I got a couple extra little tiny holes that I didn't realize I did. But at this point, I'm just going to have to be like, it is what it is, and I'm just going to deal. As much as that drives me nuts, because I don't like doing that, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. A little bit. That is being homed in my cute little sheepy bag, which is available in my shop. Um, yeah, so those are my whips, my works in progress that I'm concentrating on right now. Um, I have another one I want to cast on for our deck the halls make along. <laughs> so excited. Um, I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, but yeah, so I, I am a little bit of a perfectionist, and that is part of the reason why you are going to see a lot of one of a kind skeins of yarn in the shop. <laughs> because oh, I was so mad. I was trying to dye some Frosty the Snowman um, last night. Last night? No. To Thursday night. Thursday. No, Friday night. Friday night. <clears throat> Frosty the Snowman is one of the colorways in the 12 Days of Christmas. And I was trying to get him dyed up, and it just did not work the way I wanted, like, at all. So, so frustrating. So frustrating, but so there'll be a one of a kind out there. It's really cute because it's got um, white, it's got some blue, it's got black for the cool eyes, it's got red for the nose, and then the flower in his hat is pink and blue. So I have a little bit of pink and blue, but the pink and blue ended up being a little bit more than I was hoping for, and the red ran some. So yeah. do not like red. I love the color red. And I love the way it looks when it turns out, but it, when it runs and messes up everything, it really pisses me off. i got to find a better way to dye red because I was trying to do some Rudolph today, and I think it might still work, although it wasn't quite what I was going for. A little too much red started to kind of sp spread out a little bit. I'm like, yeah, crap. Yeah, so I think it might still work. I'll tell you a couple of the names of the songs. I've got Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, Let It Snow, uh, Boughs of Holly. So what I'm doing, it's a, it's a 12 Days of Christmas Christmas Carol theme. So I am taking either the name of the Christmas Carol or part of a lyric. That when you hear it, you know what Christmas Carol they're talking about. So Boughs of Holly is obviously Deck the Halls. So yeah, so I got that one coming. I've got <laughs> the Christmas song, you know, chestnuts roasting. Um, but I'm naming one of the colorways Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I think it's so fun, so fun. I got that one I dyed today, which I am in love with it. Oh my God, the blues, <gasps> so pretty. I have Let It Snow. I already said Let It Snow, didn't I? Oh, Christmas Tree. Yep, I'm not sure of the other ones I'm still thinking. And I have a little song that's gonna go along with it. And I think it is so freaking adorable. My daughter said it's really cheesy, but that's, I'm like, it's all right. It's all right, because I like it. I like it cheese and all. <laughs> so anyways, let's see what's next. Yes, this is going to be a little shorter of an episode because I don't really have a lot to talk about. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go into some happy mail and shop stuff because it's kind of all intertwined together. So, anyways, the last podcast I showed you a magazine that I bought. Almost dropped it anyway. 
um, I showed you this magazine here that I bought, which is Holiday Knits, which actually inspired me to do the Deck the Hall Make Along. So there was all kinds of stuff in here that I showed you that I wanted to make. I still want to make this Christmas the Santa hat. I still want to try and make that. So many things. There's so many cute things in this magazine. So that was one. Then the other day I was in Walmart getting a couple things before heading home from work. And I came across this one. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect for the Deck the Halls make along. This one is going to be perfect. Annie's Trim the Tree magazine. Look at how cute some of those are. My daughter wants to make this snowman. It's just felt. It's felt cut into snowman shapes and glued together, and it is so freaking adorable. So she wants to make some of that. There's cross stitching in here. You can see this one here is a Santa Claus. It says believe. Some of these things are so freaking adorable. There's crochet, there's felting stuff, there's Christmas ornaments. There's so many nice things in this magazine. I mean, if you know how to sew, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at those big snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? And that is like a quilted snowflake. These are really cute. I'm going to put my hand over the patterns. Look at those. Those are cross stitch patterns, which are kind of nice. And you hang them on your tree, which is kind of a nice idea. So they're not too, too big, which really wouldn't take too long at all to make those. Miniature ornaments using crochet. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't want to show off the pattern too much, but uh, look at that. Aren't they adorable? I want to show you the one I am going to make. I'm determined to make it. I mean, oh my gosh, seriously? Holiday hex ornaments for you to put a picture inside. Cute! That would be really, really cute. Um, let's see. There's gingerbread house ornaments, there's tree ornaments, there's garland, which is really, really cute. Make your own garland, um, little stockings. Oh my gosh, he is a freaking adorable. I'm not making this one, but he is so cute. If you, if you make pom-poms, look at that little pom-pom snowman. How cute is he? So cute. And look at those crocheted snowflakes. This is one of the things I want to make, but yeah, I don't know. I want to make it, but I've never done buttonholes in knitting, so I'm a little scared, terrified of that. But look at the tree skirt. It's a knitted tree skirt with pom-poms. How cute is that? A knitted tree skirt with pom-poms. I want to make that so bad. But it has this really pretty... I want to show the... It's really pretty buttons down the side. Because I thought, how in the world can you make a tree skirt and actually get it on your tree unless there's something open that can close up later and it's a buttonhole? I mean, it sounds easy enough, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is adorable for your pets. Look at that. It's a paw print. Isn't it cute? Cutest thing ever. You fill it with dog treats for your dogs. So adorable. Um, there's another tree skirt for crocheting. There's so many really cute things in this magazine. Christmas wish ornaments. Look at the ornaments. Aren't they cute? 
teddy bears. Oh my gosh, this little, oh my gosh, it's so cute. You can knit present garland. Look at the little presents. So cute. It's crocheted, of course. Of course, since I don't know how to crochet, all these really adorable, cute things are crochet. <laughs> Go figure. We have to get my button gear and learn to crochet. This is cute. And this is just foam. These are foam. But look at those little guys. How cute are they? They are so cute. I'll show you the one I'm going to make. There's so many more. I would love to show you the entire book. But I can't. okay, I have to show you this though. These are felted. These are felt, just square felt. Look at those little sweaters. <laughs> They're so cute. Let me find my little guy that I'm making. Oh my gosh, there's a penguin fishing. Adorable. There he is. This is the one I'm knitting. It's called Snow Dye. It's by Lena Skavarsson. I have no idea. But oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. Isn't he adorable? So I'm going to knit him up. Or try to. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try. So anyways, this is Annie's Trim the Tree special Christmas issue. It's got 80, it's got over 80 um, do-it-yourself designs. So I went and I thought, do I want to use one of my regular bear yarns for the snowman or what? And I thought, you know what, for ornaments and stuff, I think I'm just going to buy store-bought stuff. Because it's going on the tree or just on the table and save my good yarn for like clothing and stuff like that. Well, not, not that it's not good yarn, but natural fiber yarn. That's what I'm saying. My dyeing yarn. So I picked up some Burnett Satin. It is really, really soft. I cannot get over how soft this is. It's it's really soft for an acrylic. And it's 100% acrylic. But it is super, super soft. Like, it's... I'm shocked. I've... It is really soft. So I think the snowman is going to be out of this. And if I do my Santa hat, the red or the white part might be out of this if there's enough of this, which there should be because the, sand, the little snowman is not really that huge. So that is basically it for my acquisitions. I haven't bought anything. I've been trying to be a good girl, saving up for Christmas. Um, what else? What else? What else was I going to talk about? I forgot to write it down. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so that's basically it. Basically it. Um, podcasts and stuff. I've been watching a lot of TV shows. Uh, a lot of the new stuff that's out. And uh, Walking Dead is back. And Stranger Things is back. So I'm trying to watch those. Um, podcasts. Almost every other podcast is a Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck recap. Which is awesome, but at the same time, a little envious, I must say. Because, oh my god, it looked like so much fun. And some of the yarn that they're bringing back is just absolutely gorgeous. And it makes me so sad that I didn't go. Yeah. But I've never done um, a knitting anything before. So I think this year, or next year... I think uh, I'm definitely going to try and hit the uh, Kitchener Waterloo one because that's like the closest for me. Or maybe the Toronto, Toronto Knitters Guild one. I think they have. I can't remember when it is, but I may have to try and drag my daughter along and go to that. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure she'll have no problem if I decide to sell her. We're going to get a hotel and stay the night. So, Because I don't drive, so it'll be uh, go train or bus where I get to places so we'll have to see what happens next year but anyways um <clears throat> god my throat I don't know if I'm catching a cold three people are work at work are sick and I'm like stay away from me I don't want to get sick 
<clears throat> so, pardon my scratchy voice if it's all a little crazy. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, the shop. Okay, so the Halloween sale I have going on right now, it's already discounted. 20, is it 20% off? Did I say 20% off? I think I have it as 20%. 15. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyways, it is no coupon code needed. It is already discounted on the shop. It's any of my Halloween themed items. Uh, project bags, yarn, anything that is a Halloween theme has already been reduced. So you only got a couple more days to get those. It is, I'm going to finish it October 31st. And if I still have stuff that's already dyed up that wasn't purchased, I'll either keep it for myself or I'll give it away. I'll do giveaways and give away some of my Halloween stuff, my bags and stuff. So we'll see. Um, mum, 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 mum. November 1st, 12 days of Christmas is coming. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so each day of Christmas is going to be a new yarn released. And I haven't decided if I'm going to have just certain amount of quantity. I think it's going to be limited, but it's not going to actually be a number. It's just basically when I feel that I'm good with that and that yarn is done, then it's done. Um, so it is going to be limited, but not specifically limited. Does that make sense? <laughs> Cause I mean, if I, if I dye one and December hits and still not one single sale on it, I may say, okay, that's the only one that's going to be out there. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when the time comes, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be on two different bases. I guess you can have my Aran base as well. Nobody's at, nobody's bought any of my Aran yet. So I got like two bags of Aran yarn. I'm like, okay, I'll just make stuff for myself. <laughs> I want to buy some Stellina and some um, DK. Although I don't have the money for it just yet. So coming soon though, coming soon. But for now, it's only going to be on the two bases. My... Um, my sweet base, which is my 7525, and my licorice high twist, which is a 8020. So those are what they're going to be available on. And you can buy it on Aaron as well, but like I said, nobody ever buys it on Aaron. Um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so excited about it. I am loving the colors and the carols that I've got that I'm trying to die for. And yeah. So I think that's about it for this episode. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter one, 45 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Um, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you all had a good time. And uh, catch me on Instagram because I'm, I'm getting really addicted to these Instagram story things. <laughs> so you'll probably see me pop on there every so often, every couple days at least. And uh, you can see what's going on with the shop and the mid along and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you are subscribing to my channel, uh, which is Crafty Mama 73, which brings you the Crafty Mama podcast. And um, follow me on Instagram. Keep up to date with everything going on. And don't forget to join my Ravelry group and get all those finished objects in there for your chance to win lots and lots of prizes. And next week when I podcast, there's going to be probably two or three giveaways so you're going to want to get your stuff in the finished objects and the chatter thread and um yeah the Chris, the winter is coming make along is ending in two days so make sure you get your stuff in there as well all right everyone i hope you had a great day and hope you have fun and thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today i got supper cooking downstairs i can smell it already and i'm starving and I got some more yarn to dye and some stuff to knit. So I will see you all soon. Until then, keep on crafting. Bye. Bye.